Hey, welcome back to the rest of the show once again. As always, hit that like, subscribe button down below, and let's get you right to the news of the day. Apparently, the broken gimmick thing is still going on between Anthem and the Hardys. Apparently, uh, within the last month, they've had an agreement. And apparently, from the looks of it, that agreement has fallen through. But some of the details were they were going to pay somewhere between ten to five thousand or fifteen thousand dollars for the rights to the broken gimmick to Anthem Entertainment, who of course own apparently owns the gimmick after they bought up Impact Wrestling. That said, apparently there's also supposed to be a non-disparagement agreement within part within the cell of that between you know both parties, but according to Matt Hardy's wife, you know, they're not maintaining their end of it. So apparently that deal is is kind of not been signed and not you know is not happening at the current juncture. If you ask me, I think it needs to happen. It needs to happen for the WWE fans. It needs to happen for the Hardy Boys in general and their family and allow this whole thing to be over with. And Anthem can move on with their thing. The Hardys can move on with their thing and take their gimmick wherever the hell they want to. And I think that's what needs to happen. The WWE fans, I think, really would love to see, you know, the broken um, Hardy gimmick. I think it'd be really fun to watch and very enjoyable for the WWE fans. But that said, Anthem Entertainment and GFW Wrestling, as they're known now, have shown throughout the years that they are not necessarily the most upfront and honest company on the face of the earth. And... Not saying WWE is because they've they've been involved in some shady stuff too, but as of late, with Anth after Anthem Entertainment bought TNA, it just seems like they've gotten worse. No one no no one sticks to their guns. No one follow you know no one follows their own rule their own word or anything over there at Impact Wrestling, GFW, or Anthem Entertainment. Sadly, that just seems to be the case. It's what I'm seeing from you know as a fan, a wrestling fan on the outside looking in. But in the, at the end of the day, it is what it is, and I think sooner or later, I think Cooler Heads will prevail, and the Broken Gimmick will make its way into WWE in the very near future. And if it doesn't, it'll probably be because WWE doesn't want it, and I think the Hardys will go on and do it, you know, go back to Ring of Honor, or maybe even New Japan or something like that, and to, pro, you know, to do the broken gimmick some more, but I do think it'll be in the WWE more sooner than later. Also, speaking of um, contract negotiations, apparently Rey Mysterio, who has been you know recently on Lucha Underground and, and some other promotions and formerly of WWE, has apparently been entered into negotiations with both GFW and the WWE. I guess he's trying to see where he can get the best deal. I'm going to assume... It's going to be, you know, a deal based on how much money versus the dates that he can get. And a lot of the older wrestlers, of course, are trying, you know, are looking for places to wrestle that don't have such a stringent travel policy and stuff in place. Because the WWE, you know, they're always, they're probably on the road roughly 250 days out of the year. Always, always going, go, 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 go. And, of course, TNA only records ever so often, you know, once or twice, you know, a few days every month or whatever. But I know Rey Mysterio. I've seen. I've read in the past that Rey Mysterio is looking to come back to the WWE, so he could be playing. You know, basically playing. You know, both sides, trying to you know look like he's negotiating with GFW, so WWE gives him a better deal and gives him more money, or gives him less dates. Um, that said, I have nothing else for you for this Thursday. I hope you have a great day. Come back next Tuesday for another video. And I'll see y'all down the road.